Welcome along to a video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane and in this video we'll have a look at configuring PDF icons in SharePoint Foundation 2010. Firstly I need to start off with a disclaimer. Uh, the information provided in this video is done so as is. It is provided with no guarantees or responsibility or warranty and a warning that any changes that are made to production systems do involve risk. Also note that this process is not Microsoft supported or approved. So the agenda for this video will be a look at adding a PDF icon to SharePoint Foundation 2010. Just let you know that this video is actually part of a longer video that includes um, how to index PDFs within SharePoint 2010. So what we'll actually cover in this video is installing the PDF icon and then modifying the system so that it is displayed within SharePoint Foundation 2010. So now what we want to do is to have this type icon here display uh, an actual PDF icon to make it easier for users to identify. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to a site www.adobe.com forward slash images forward slash PDF icon underscore small dot GIF and this will present us with a very small uh, PDF icon we can use so we need to uh, right mouse click on this and we need to save this picture and we need to save it into a specific location on our server so what we'll do is we'll just change this to browse folders Okay, so we're going to need to save it to our C drive, program files, common files, Microsoft shared, web server extensions, 14, template, and images. Okay, so we stick it in that location. So now we've got the actual uh, icon downloaded. So we now need to uh, make a change to an IIS configuration file. So we need to firstly locate that file and then make a change to it. So let's just go into Explore and firstly locate that file. So that file is, let's minimise all this, that file is in Program Files, Common Files, Microsoft Shared, Web Server Extensions, 14, Template, oops, template XML. Okay, so the file that we want to edit here is the doc icon dot XML. So we'll need to edit that as an administrator. So the easiest way to do that is to come up here and copy the path. So let's just copy that. We then need to uh, run Notepad, but we need to run it as an administrator. So again, right mouse click on Notepad and select Run as Administrator to bring it up uh, in a mode that will allow us to edit the file and to save back to a system location. So again, we accept the UAC that's displayed. Okay, so then we need to open that file, so we need to file, open, and here we can just paste in our location. Uh, what we need to do is we need to view all the files, and we're looking for the file doc icon, so again this is the file we want to edit, so docicon.xml. So we open that and maximise it so we can see what's going on. 
So if we scroll down the list here towards the bottom, you'll notice that this last entry here talks about a mapping key, zip, uh, value and a GIF file. So basically what we want to do here is to put in a similar line and then basically change it to have our PDF. So what we'll do is we'll copy that and paste that into there. We'll then change the mapping key to read PDF and we'll need to change the name of the actual GIF file to match the one we downloaded so in our case it's PDF icon underscore small okay so we make sure we've made, got no errors there everything else is the same so again if we now close this file and save it okay so that is now updated so the last thing that we need to do is to reset our Internet Information Server, so what I need to do is to go out to the command prompt once more as an administrator, uh, select the UAC and basically run an IIS reset. Now that the uh, IIS reset has completed, um, if I now go to my home page and as you can see, refresh the page, you'll now see that the PDF icon is displayed. So again, we've been able to uh, configure not only the ability to index inside PDF documents, but also to include an icon in the type to indicate that PDF documents um, are listed within document libraries. This information has been brought to you by the CIA Ops SharePoint Operations Guide. It's the most comprehensive guide on how to install, migrate, maintain and use Windows SharePoint. More information can be found at www.wssops.com. Please feel free to contact me with further comments or feedback. My email is director at ciaops.com. Otherwise, please follow along on my blog, supportweb.ciaops.net dot au forward slash blog. Thank you very much for watching.